Hey YouTube, I'm back again with a, I wanted to show off a, a tool, a pretty cheap Harbor Freight tool that I bought. Um, here it is. What this is, is a, a Semtech um, cable tracker, item number 94181 on Harbor Freight. I bought this about a month ago, maybe two months ago, um, with the intention on using it for a couple of things. Um, number one, this, this would be really good in, all, in an automotive application where you're trying to track down um, a disconnected wire or something like that and trying to find out where it goes and, and what it attaches to. This would, this would come in pretty handy for that. Um, but, but it also is good for residential purposes. Um, I've got one, two, three, four outlets here in my shop that are dead and have been dead since I moved in here. Um, I was actually kind of hoping that this would track it through the concrete and the conduit, and I knew it wouldn't, but I just wanted to try just in case, and this was cheap enough and I knew it could use it for something else that, that I went ahead and bought it. Um, obviously it didn't work, but I, what it did get, tell me, what I was able to use this for and what it did tell me, I'm getting all tongue tied, sorry, um, is that all four of those outlets are connected together. And I'll show you in a minute how to do that. Um, right now I'm going to show you how to use it in like an, in an automotive application. So, okay, let's flip you around and this is just, you know, this is my Pathfinder that I'm tearing apart. Um, I just got a big rat's nest of electrical wire and I have this red wire here that is uh, a power wire for the amplifier that they used to have in here. So, here's the other part that this comes with. This is the what sends the signal, this is what receives the signal, okay? Um, you have your power switch here that doubles as a volume. I'm going to just turn that up. You have your test button right here. It just gives you a buzz sound until you get close. And then it beeps, okay? You got your speaker there. Um, I've got this set to tone so that I can make it beep like that. And what I've... Normally, in, in a house situation, if I'm trying to track a specific wire, um, because you'll have, in a house, you'll have three wires. You'll have your black, which is your hot wire. You'll have your white, which is a neutral, and you'll have your green wire, which is also neutral. And they're all within the same wire casing. So you'll, he you'll hook up your black wire to the, to the black wire in, you know, in that wire. That, Basically, you'll hook up the black to the black, you'll hook the red to the white, and, and then go look for it. <laughs> In this situation where it's only one wire, I'm just going to hook the black up. So, then I'm going to hold this button down, and I'm going to make sure it works by getting close to this. Okay, um, now I know where this ends at. This ends over here. So... I get close and it starts going off. Not as loud, but it goes off. The neat thing though is that I can get close to it at any point. And it'll go off. Okay. So that'll allow me to track this underneath the carpet. Um, so long as it, if the wire's really insulated well, and, and the signals or the connection's not that good, you might have difficulty tracking it like that, but at least you're going to have an idea. Most of us know where our wiring harnesses are running through for the most part, okay? Um, if you've got, you know, if you're looking for a speaker wire or something like that, and you know your power in your vehicle is always at the front by the battery. If what you're working on is in the back, you can connect this to the back and then you're going to want to come towards the dash or whatever and try to find it because you know that it's running there somewhere. Um, so, <clears throat> And all your wires are mo more than likely all running through the same route. They're all bundled up like this. So that's a good way for you to figure it out. Um, one of the things that I noticed on this, on my other Pathfinder, is that I, when I first got it, I had a lot of wires that were just not connected. Um, this could come in handy to track those wires down. 
So I wanted to show you guys that just because it's a, a nifty little tool, it's not very expensive, and it could save you guys some headache. Um, let me hook this up to these outlets uh, that I these dead outlets, so I can show you what I was talking about there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and connect my black one to what would be hot. It's not hot anymore and the red one to the neutral, okay? Test it, it works, right? So now I'm gonna go to these other ones that I suspect are connected to it. <clears throat> All right, here we go. And it's going crazy, so I know that's connected to it. I'm gonna go to another one just so I can prove it. And I know it's connected. And how I know it's dead is because this wire here is what it should be attached to. And nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's dead. So there's a break in the connection someplace underground. And that's not my problem. <laughs> um, but what I will say is this. Um, for somebody like me, because I do plan on getting those outlets working, for someone like me that is willing to take a little, little bit of a risk because I'm not an electrician, I do know enough to, to feel confident in myself um, in doing electrical work, but for someone like me, that piece of information where I know that those four outlets, one of them is behind the sheet metal by the way, um, are connected um, could save me from possibly causing an, an electrical fire or um, popping the, cir um, the fuse box, not the fuse box, but the circuit breaker. Um, the reason being is that I could go out and, and let's say I run a new piece of conduit up over the roof and I drop it down and tag it into this one outlet right here. And if I'm stupid enough to leave the existing wires attached to that outlet, I could potentially have a big problem. Because even though it's attached to those other four, and theoretically, if there was no short in the line, those other, or I mean, excuse me, the other three, the other three will power up. But because I know that there's a break in the line someplace, there's a good chance that those wires are going to touch underground or could be touching right now and, and trip that immediately, trip the breaker immediately. Um, the more you try to force a situation like that, the chances of you burning up the wires is a lot higher. Um, wires are not cheap, you could end up with a fire. Um, so it's good, that, uh, uh, it's good that I'm aware of that all those outlets are connected. It's good that I know that there's a break in the line someplace that I can't retrieve. So that if I do try to run new conduit, to make sure I just completely eliminate the old wiring all together and then wire everything together together with new conduit and everything. So that's where something like that would come in handy for somebody like me. Also with the, the car stuff, like I said, that I've throughout all my years of working on cars since I was a since I was a kid, I've always run into electrical problems in some form or fashion. And that's probably been the biggest headache I've ever had working on cars, tracking down electrical problems. So that's just another small little tool. It's not really expensive. Use your 20% um, coupon that they send out all the time at Harbor Freight. And it'll just come in handy. I'm sure you'll be able to use it a few times. And if it saves you an all day event trying to track down a wire, you know, and turn that into a five minute job, you know, it, to me that's worth its weight in gold. So. Anyway, I just wanted to show that off to you guys. Check out the description, there'll be the link to it. Um, there'll also be a link to alvarezmetalworks.com, that's my website. Check that out. Um, same video content, but just check it out anyways. I built the website, hope you guys look at it. <laughs> um, there'll also be the link um, on my website to my Facebook page. Go like my Facebook page please and show a little bit of support there, that would be awesome. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.